So the Japanese Babe Ruth is headed to the United States. He is headed to Anaheim. He is headed to my personal favorite team. I am incredibly excited about this. I went out Friday night and celebrated in a very calm, dignified manner. Sorry, we're going, we're going streaking through the quad and into the gymnasium. Come on, everybody! Greetings baseball fans and welcome to the Suicide Squeeze Baseball Show. Well, after many weeks of waiting, ladies and gentlemen, the hot stove in Major League Baseball has finally started to heat up a little bit. When on Friday, Shohei Otani, the Japanese Babe Ruth, signed with the Angels. It's a very exciting time. And let me tell you something, guys. This guy, Shohei Otani, he basically does it all. He's a pitcher who throws well over 100 miles an hour. I think he's been clocked at around 101, 102, if I'm not mistaken. And he's pitched 100 in the late innings of games in Japan. But that's not all, you guys. This guy is actually a hitter, too. He played some outfield. And he's not just kind of your average run-of-the-mill hitter, either. This is a guy that won the Home Run Derby over in Japan last year. He probably is a champion, a violinist, and opera singer as well, but I can't confirm this. So from a personal standpoint, ladies and gents, I was pretty excited to hear this guy was just coming to the United States in general when he announced it several months ago. And he said back then that he wanted to not only pitch, but he wanted to try to play a position on his off days. And more than likely, he's going to be a DH. He played the outfield in Japan, but he's going to be a DH most likely with the Angels. And just the fact that he's going to attempt this is pretty damn amazing. And he could have played for any other team. And I would have been pulling for this guy because he really is a trailblazer. He's the first guy to really attempt to do this. I know a lot of people compare him to Babe Ruth, and Babe Ruth was an absolutely amazing player. Probably the greatest player of all time because he was a pitcher and a position player. But keep in mind with Babe Ruth, he was a pitcher first, and then he became a position player later on in his career. He never tried to attempt to do both at the same time. So the fact that this cat is trying to do something that really has never been done before, he gets major kudos from me. And let me tell you something, guys. The Angels needed this cat extremely badly. Their starting rotation has just been absolutely riddled with injuries the last couple of years, in particular this last year. And the worst part about the Angels' starting rotation is these guys go on the DL, and we just never hear from them again. It's like, it's like the Bermuda Triangle with these guys. They're pitched very well for us. Then they get injured, and they just never come back a lot of the time. But evidently, from the reports that I've been hearing, the Angels' starting rotation should be healthy and back ready to roll in spring training next year. And if that is the case, if they can stay healthy, in particular Garrett Richards, who's sort of been the de facto ace for the Angels this year, you add Otani into that rotation, the Angels should be pretty good next year. I'm not saying they're going to be as good as the Astros, but having Otani and Garrett Richards at the top of the rotation is pretty damn solid. And even if this guy turns out to be a bust, you guys, which is very possible. I mean, let's face it, the Japanese pitchers that have come over here to this point, I won't say they, they haven't fared well, but they've been a little bit of a disappointment. There's always kind of a mystical, magical feeling when these guys come over here like they're going to be the next Sandy Koufax. And it really hasn't worked out that way. Hideo Nomo, he came over here in the mid-90s, had a just a, a stellar rookie year for the Dodgers. Then he kind of flatlined out for the rest of his career. He did pitch a no-hitter at Coors Field, which was one of the most miraculous things that probably has ever been done in sports. Then we saw uh, Hideki Arabu Kemp come over here. Uh, I believe it was like in the late 90s with the Yankees. He struggled mightily for them. Dice K came over, pitched for the Red Sox. There was a lot of hype around him after the World Baseball Classic. But he was kind of a disappointment as well. Uh, Tanaka for the Yankees has pitched pretty well, but he's not that sort of dominant ace. There hasn't been a dominant ace that has come over from Japan. We'll see how Otani does. Um, but again, it's a very low risk, high reward for the Angels. They paid this guy... $3 million. It's actually, I think it was $23 million they had to pay to get him because they had to pay a $20 million 
posting fee to Nippon, the Nippon baseball team, which was Otani's old team. But you know what? You pay $23 million in baseball today, you pay that for a number three, number four starter. And more than likely, he's going to be at, at the very least a number three or number four starter. But now I want to hear from you guys. Do you think Shohei Otani is going to be a success here in the United States of America? Do you think he'll be able to pitch and play some DH on his off days? From what I've heard, the Angels will probably go with a six-man rotation, and he will pitch every six, seven days most likely, because I guess that's somewhat normal from what he's used to in Japan. But I want to hear from you guys. Do you think he'll be a success? And are you disappointed that your team didn't get him? Let me know down below. And as always, hit that dislike button if you didn't like this video. Otherwise, see you next time. Take care, guys.